What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Friday evening. Reason for the video is I want to give you an update on our live stream for tonight. Now, as you guys know from uh, yesterday, the Great One ran out of data on his plan. Uh, as you guys know, I do not have access to cable or fiber, which is why I don't work at Verizon. So I have to rely on cellular internet. And of course, thanks to Pugman, uh, I was able to get a 5G router in order to uh, make the streams actually work right as well as reviewing videos. Now, I had already had some contingencies planned out in the event that this happened. The biggest contingency is this device. This here is a Verizon uh, LTE Advanced uh, hotspot. And what I was going to do is simply hook it up and uh, that would be it. Went and hooked it up. And even though putting in all of the SIM card information and everything like that, is just as I expected, this device will probably not activate until August 29th. Now, why didn't I go to a store? It's quite simple. Stores are so packed that you have to make an appointment in order to go to the store. I did get an appointment for Wednesday, and that was pretty much the earliest for any of the stores around here. Does not work whatsoever. Whatever. Tried to give a call to Verizon which normally I could have got this activated speaking to an American US-based customer service representative, but guess what? They gone. They gone. All of it is overseas. And of course, when I called them, I already knew what was going to happen because remember, folks, I worked for Verizon for years. What they told me is that they couldn't see the device. Of course you couldn't see the device. Because it's not going to activate until August 29th. No way to reverse it. Computer system will not activate it earlier. It's sort of like a time lock on a bank, in other words, to where the vault door will not open until a certain point in time. This device will not turn on until August 29th. If even that, it probably will goof up again. So... Went to Cricket Wireless to go get another SIM card for the router. Why did I go to Cricket? Not because I'm being cheap, because I'm probably going to be working there next week. At a cool, I think, ten fifty an hour. Uh, and folks, uh, you may think that is low pay, and that's correct. You have to understand, I can't go back to Verizon retail because most of the people that left customer service went to retail. So that's actually saturated. It's non-negotiable. The jobs are not there. It's the same with T-Mobile and other companies here. So that's why I'm having to accept low pay, uh, which will keep me still in the phone business. Because like I said, I still got bills, folks. You know what I'm saying? I do got plenty of passive income coming in to where I can pay bills, but you know, you want to always put stuff for savings for retirement and everything. Not only that, if I intend to buy a house, which is going to be next year, uh, I would need to have a place of employment because it, the credit school, the credit history for a self employed business such as mine, you have to provide two years worth working full time. Uh, uh, being self-employed and I haven't because I was working at Verizon I've only got one year you know so yep we got to go to work so I've got everything hooked up as far as this is concerned uh, but for some reason or other it's not working the way it's supposed to it's got the speed but whenever I tried to test it out somehow it's cutting out now it could be the firmware that's updating uh, it could also be a high uh, use of cellular service in the afternoon. 
uh, it appears it is calming down or so forth. So what's going to happen is we'll have what's called a Chop Suey live stream. going to stream right from my cell phone while I still check the bandwidth uh, on the router to see if it works. If it works, uh, we'll get it switched up. We'll do our live React videos. Otherwise, uh, we'll just do the regular Q&A. And of course, I guarantee folks I'll make up for it. We'll do a Monday React live stream. And then Tuesday, we'll do an Earl Grey Tuesday. So you're going to have two back-to-back -back, uh, React uh, live streams. So I want to make sure I'm giving uh, all of my peoples, my fellow Piss Troopers, the content that's needed. Uh, don't worry about me as far as jobs are concerned. This is the way it is. You got to man up about shit you can't be a bitch when it comes to things so i'll take that high five like a soldier you know if it's gonna be 1050 well what it is is gonna is gonna be what it is the benefit of that is gonna still allow me to do more for this channel and uh do a lot of extra things you know but that's all I got to say today. I got to get back to work. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. Click the link below. Also visit VinceGoodrum.com. And as always, peace and soul.